What's going on, YouTube? I just want to come at you today, let you know what you're doing wrong as a digital nomad and international traveler. If you want to figure out some ways how to do better, stick around. I got your back. What's going on? This is your man on Common Sense here. We're going to talk about the various ways that you can enhance your digital nomad and travel experience. I have with me a few products and things that have made my life a little bit easier, but you got to make sure you got the right stuff for the right job. I'm going to always suggest that you have some sort of digital that you have some sort of digital tracking devices. It can be an AirTag, whatever, whatever. Make sure that the things that you really, really need have a way for you to find them for them to get back to you. Next, first and foremost, you wanna make sure that you always have your passport. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lights. Alexa, turn on the bedroom strip lights. Anyway, you always want to make sure you have your passport. I also suggest if you can find one, put a digital tracking device inside of your passport. So that way you know exactly where it is. I have a wallet card that allows me to put the air tag in there with it. I don't know where it is at this particular point. But again, it makes sense to have this on you. Additionally, carry additional types of ID, especially when traveling. Oh, I just found some money. So when I go back to Mexico, I got a little bit of money. Woo -woo. Alexa, how much is 600 pesos in U.S. dollars? 600 Mexican pesos is about 35 U.S. dollars and 78 cents. Work. Anyway, next up, just on the personal hygiene tip, make sure that you keep your moisturization with you. For, for my black and brown folks or for my folks that just need to make sure they moisturize, you want to make sure you got your moisture with you because it's very challenging sometimes to find that depending on the city, state, country that you're in. Um, I noticed that it was a little bit more challenging for me to find deodorant and moisturization products especially when I travel internationally. So make sure that you have your things with you to make sure that you keep up with your self-care. Next up, make sure that you have a power inverter or a plug that converts to your country. I had to learn this the hard way. I didn't prepare in enough time and I didn't buy it off of Amazon, so I ended up buying it in Rome. This thing right here cost me $25. But I'll have it from this point forward, and it includes every type of plug. See that? So I'm prepared from that point forward. So learn from my mistake. Don't. Another thing. Make sure that you have somewhat of an emergency kit for injuries or anything like that. That includes band-aids, Q-tips, something to clean a wound. Also, get, the, get a clear toiletry case so that way when you're going through customs, they don't have to unpack your bag. They can clearly see what's in here and you can just and you can just move through as quick as possible. Additionally, if you can afford it, make sure that you get TSA pre-check and global entry so when you're coming back to the country, you won't have any challenges. And also too, when you're leaving, you have a way to get through security quicker and get to your international flights because you definitely don't want to miss an international flight. Trust me. In the realm of toiletries, I suggest some type of hygiene wipe. Um, even though the plumbing, depending on where you are, may not accept flushable wipes, it still makes sense because I don't like using toilet paper anymore, TMI, but whatever. It helps. So some Amazon, they come monthly. Next, for your toiletries, I got this from Dollar Tree. Do you know what this is? Let me show you. It's a travel size bottle, but it has four different bottles inside of it. Take that off. And now you have four bottles that you can take with you. Mouthwash, alcohol, astringent, lotion, lube, whatever. And they all fit together neatly there. And 
the top goes right on. Put that right in your luggage. Additionally, I bought these little covers that go over the top of your body wash, whatever, to keep things from leaking. Like this is an oil slash lotion in here, and this has leaked on so many different things. But putting this little cover on it keeps it from leaking and getting on everything else, even though I usually put it in a Ziploc bag because I'm just anal retentive like that. But these have been a game changer for me. So what are they called? Leak proofing. Leak proofing tray? for standard size toiletries. It's like a little condom that goes on the top of your, that goes on top of your toiletries. Next up for the digital nomads, have to have a USB extender hub. I have my mouse and my mouse jiggler for when I'm working remote. Because you know, sometimes the view be viewing and you need to go check that out and you're still on the clock, right? Don't say I ain't put you on. In addition to that, take your wireless mouse. Last but not least, power bank. This has been a lifesaver, especially when waiting on connecting flights or on long layovers, you need your power bank. And I use this frequently, whether I'm using my iPad, my iPhone, uh, it does not matter. So it has multiple slots, fast charges, and the two USB slots, charge on the fast charger, but also, Doubles as a flashlight. Wait, I don't turn it on. Ah, doubles as a flashlight. So, if, if you want to up your travel game and make sure that you stop traveling wrong as a digital nomad, take some of these tips because these are the things that I use to ensure that I have the best travel experience around. Additionally, Decants. I always take decants because I don't trust traveling with my full size fragrances. You're welcome.